Right, let's try that again. Right. Well, everybody to lesson four of our algorithms and coding. Remember, if you have a question, you can click on the hand and then I will answer your question either with the microphone or in the chat. And this is your email address. If you can send me your programs or any other concerns, you can type right um, messages to iquin at africateengeeks.co.za. And today we are going to continue with number one, where Bear is going to go up to the elephant, but this time he's going to talk. So what are we going to do? Today I'm going to show you a learner's code. Somebody sent me a code. So I'm going to show that from a fellow learner of yours. And then we're going to revise yesterday's code. We will also make a new costume. We're going to actually convert a costume. And we will also have two sprites talking to each other. And they will ask questions and answer questions. And then hopefully we can get to create and use variables as well. So that should be fun. And of course, we know that we want to have fun while we are learning here. Hey. Right, so. Um, then, oh, did you all see that? Or oh, maybe you did, hey? All right, so I'll just share screen again. And there we go. Yes, um, that's right. Uh, you, uh, we have a host that asked you to uh, unmute. Don't worry. So you can't see the screen. Okay. Right, some technical difficulties here. We have some technical dif difficulties. Right, so here we go. We're going to share the screen again. Second time, third time lucky, eh? Not getting off to a good start this morning. Never mind. So I'm going to run through the slideshow again quickly. Click on the hand. Here's the email address. And this is what we're going to do today. So number one, Bear's going to walk to Elephant and say hello and ask questions. And we are going to do these things today. And hopefully we'll be able to get to create and use variables. All right. Files yesterday's code, make a new costume. Two sprites going to talk to each other and ask questions and answer the questions. And hopefully we can get to variables as well. So that is what my plan is. And let's hope we can get to all of those things today. Right, so now I'm going to share my other screen for our wonderful program that a learner submitted uh, via email. This is his program, it's William, and he's going to grade five. So this is his program that he wrote. I'm going to run the program. I'm going to maximize the, the screen. You see those little, the little arrows that go out like this on the right hand side. I'm going to click on that. Then I'm going to click on the run button if I can find it over here. Um, this thing is on, unfortunately. Okay, we'll have to run it from the this green flag is covered up, so I'm just going to run it from there. So we're going to run the program. Come on, run. Okay, let's stop it and then let's run it. Doesn't want to run. Okay. Let's run. Ah, they say, hello, hello, how are you? I'm fine, thanks, and you? Fine, thanks. Do you know how to code? Kind of. Well, not really. You see the two sprites talking? Go to MS Zora and learn to code. It is really fun. And that's the end. 
So that's the program um, that William wrote. So I can run it in run in, in this. This is what it looked like in, uh, oh wait, there's our arrow. There's our green arrow, I'll run it again. So there we go. See, not really. Hmm. So there you go. That is the program that he wrote. We'll have a look at it quickly to see what it looks like. So there's the code inside the program. It's got a green, when a green arrow is clicked, when the green, not arrow, it's a flag. Someone remind me it's a flag. When the green flag is clicked, there he's going to do these things. Show, he's going to show himself, and then he's going to wait, then speak, and then wait, and speak, and wait, speak, wait, speak. And then the other sprite, well, there's another um, code for, well, this is just Avery. There's two sprites here, and they both have um, similar code. And that's really well done, and you probably did it all by yourself. Without any help, I know you did it all by yourself. So well done, William, and thank you for sharing your code with us. I'm going to show you a different way of letting the people talk to each other today. I'm very impressed with, with that. That's a very good start. So if any of you got any programs to share, you can send them to the email address that I, that I showed earlier. Right, now we're going to go to our MS Zora. Okay, I'm just going to the screen sharing again. And we, this time we're going to go to MS Zora. And there's our familiar screen that we know, but we're going to load the program that we wrote yesterday. So we have to go to File, Load from your computer. And then we go to our place where we saved it. So this is very important that you know where you saved it. And I'm choosing it and then I open it. And I have to remember what I saved it as. Um, the link for MS Zora, okay. Yes. I'll put it on the chat window. Now, when I've loaded this program, there's a message that comes up here and says, replace contents of the current project. Because this is what happens when you open a new, your project, a new project or program, whatever you want to call it, from your computer or your phone, the message will come up and say, replace the contents of the current one. Then you've got to say, okay, but then just remember that the current project, if you wanted to save that, you better save it quickly. So you would then click cancel because you don't want to delete what you've already got. So instead now, okay, I can then go and save my current one that's sitting on the screen that you can see now. I hope you can see the screen. I'm assuming you can. Anyway, you can save that to your computer. And um, when you click save to computer, it will go to the downloads folder like I showed you before. On your computer, it will go to downloads. On your phone, it will go somewhere else, probably in the in a, what, um, place. I'm sure you'll be able to find it. So we click on show in folder, and then you can see if you either go to your downloads folder, the parents know where your downloads folder is, it goes straight to downloads, and then you can copy and paste it and put it into a proper place so that you can find it again. You can also rename it. But of course, we never named our project that we saved there. This is just showing you how to save. We went, now we're going to go and load our new project, because you know the one that we have on the screen here, save. So file, load from your computer. And we go to the place where we know it's saved from yesterday. And I click open. And then I say OK here, because it's saying replace the contents of the current project. And I must click on OK. And now it's loading it. And here is the project that we finished yesterday. Right, just to revise, I'm going to click the run. Go button over here, which is the green flag. Clicking on it, 
And now the bear's walking, and I know I must press the keyboard at the bottom of the keyboard. Oops, I pressed it too short. Okay, let me do it again. Any key on the keyboard, click. All right, so that's how we got so far. Right, now what we want to do next is bear must move up to sit there next to elephant. Got to remember a couple of things though, you know, social distancing. You don't want elephant to be right on top of bear or bear to be right there next to elephant. Elephant must social distance because it's the, the caring thing to do. So, just going through the code again. So remember, we started off with this position. We switched to costume, um, switch costume to bear B. So he stood up and then we point in direction 90, which means he's pointing to the right here, going that away. Then we repeat until any key is pressed on the keyboard. We're repeating, this is like a loop that we did uh, yesterday. We're going over it again and again, we're doing things again and again until any key is pressed. We go to the next costume, move 10 steps, and wait 0.5 seconds. Those three steps, we went through them yesterday. And if you were revised, you can watch the video on the YouTube channel. So, how we got to those three um, steps inside our little repeat until loop. Call this thing a loop. This, these blocks, this repeat until loop, it's a big block in which we can put other blocks and it loops around in other words it repeats these three steps over and over again until any key is pressed and that hexagon thank you to the boy yesterday who said yeah that's a hexagon shape this thing we slotted that in there until that hexagon condition in that hexagon is satisfied. In other words, until any key is pressed, these things will happen. That's why I have to press on the keyboard. And then once it's all done, then we're going to switch to custom bear A, which is the bear standing and looking. And we have the bear selected there. We go to costumes, we can see the costumes. Here on the left hand side, there's bear A, bear B, and then bear walk A, bear walk B, and so on. So let's go back to the code part. Can remember I'm clicking on the tabs here at the top. Right, so once you've done that, now we want to, we know that when we finish this, this bear walk, as you can see, he's changing costume, he's looking like he's actually walking. Then we press our um, any key on the keyboard and it stops and it switches to costume bear A. Now we want to move up that way, don't we? We want to move up there. So, what we're going to do is just move. So, what we must first do is move the stop all button away a bit because this stop all is like the end of our program. We just put it down there so we can know where it is. And we want to move 10 steps, but which direction are we going to move? We're not going to move that way. We're going to move this way. We move upwards. So we have to change direction. What is the direction for going upwards? We know that direction 90 is going to the right. Well, as you can see with the arrow, is, that's the direction that... Um, yeah, my sweetheart, um, sorry for that, uh, Sajay. It's your first class, so you must go to the YouTube channel. It's called Africa Teen Geeks. You must go to the go to YouTube and search for Africa Teen Geeks. It's all on there. You'll see Bear Walk Lesson 1, Bear Walk Lesson 2, and Bear Walk Lesson 3, and then you can catch up. Okay. So do that in your if you're able to do that in your spare time. Right, sorry for that. I was just asking ask, answering your question. Now we're going to go to we're going to go to the this we're back we're on this direction we're going to move if you go the move that dial you can see 
if we're in position number naught, basically, I can't move my mouse, this is a bit tricky, but if we have naught, then we know we're moving upwards. Okay, well, we don't want him to look like that now, but we're going to say, we're going to say um, something about direction, point in a certain direction. So, we're going to point there into a direction. And here it is right here, it's on motion. You see the categories, there's motion. So, point in direction, we're going to switch it over there. But what's going to happen with Bear? He's going to look. We saw what happened. Okay, he's walking sideways, isn't he? Mm. Do we really want him to look like that? Well, we can change his costume and point in direction. But we have to keep it like that. We have no option. We're going to just say pointing direction north. So he's going to go that way. And then, then uh, pointing direction north. Okay, so here, when you go to the pointing direction, you see the block, where did we get it from? From motion. And you see point in direction. So right inside that block, I can type a naught, or I can just move my arrow. But it's easier to type a naught than moving that arrow, that arrow along. Okay, Inami has a question. Let's go and see. Um, in the YouTube channel, let me you do YouTube. Okay, and let's see if I need to, is your hand still up? Uh, 23, All right, oops. Okay. Okay, Naomi, did that answer your question? I'm asking to unmute, you can ask the question now. I'm going to let you unmute. Mute so you can talk. Where must we go? Where must we go? Go for well, the YouTube. Uh, yes. All right. Okay. Let's show you the YouTube channel. Okay. Because I could use screen. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes or no? I hope you can see my screen. I'm going to type in here YouTube in Google and press enter. And then you'll see the YouTube over there. You just click on that. And then you go over here and you type in Africa Teen Geeks and click on the search button. And there it is, Africa Teen Geeks. There is the YouTube channel. And then the easiest way to find the videos is go to the videos. The home tab is just like, you know, it's like a summary almost. Playlists, a bit messy but if I, I always to find the latest videos always click on the videos tab here and then you can see all the videos that were recently put in and you'll see all the different grades so there's grade four lesson three and further down you'll see grade four lesson one where's grade four lesson two uh it's got to always find it you know <laughs> where's my favorite Lesson two. Oh, there's grade four, lesson two. And then there's grade uh, four, lesson three there. So there's grade four. So you can find it, okay? So I'm not going to show you that anymore. Let me stop sharing that screen. And go back to my Zora. <clears throat> now, I hope that answers your question. 
It's a pleasure, Nami. We're now going to go and so we point in direction Mort and he's going to walk up to Mr. Elephant. And because it's a very short walk, I'm just going to say move 10 steps and see how far he gets. Now, in order to um, test it out, I've just moved this thing around here. So I don't want to run the whole program again. I know he's sitting over there, okay? If I want to test out this bit of this block, all I do is double click on it and see how far he goes up. But of course, I've got a point in direction and then move up. So I'm putting these two together. Just now I'm going to go and put the puzzle pieces on the bottom of that block. But before I do that, I just want to see if I'm right. So we're going to test our code before we go and put it in with the rest. And to do that, I put them together like this, point in direction, move 10 steps, and then I'm going to double click on it. Can you see? Then it shows us what happened. Now, of course, we've got to get him back, okay? But I'm just going to move him back like that. So 10 steps only gets to there. So I'm going to move him 20 steps and see what he does. Okay, so what I did was I moved him down here and then I double clicked. Okay, moved him down there and then I double clicked to test it. Maybe he can be a little bit, a um, few more steps, but I think we'll leave it like that. So that's fine. I've tested these two blocks by double clicking on them together. If I just tested one, then basically it's just going to point. If I move 20 steps, then we have that. So you can double click on the blocks to see if they work before you go and add them to your code. So that's what I've done there. Right. So we know he's going to go, he's going to end up something like that. Problem is social distancing and he's also not in the right way. Okay, he's not he's not turning, he's not, he's looking you know, like that. So we've got to put him, uh, make him look prop, prop, um, reposition, make him look proper. He's got to stand properly now. And we're going to switch the costume, go to looks, switch costume, and we also want to, oh no, we're not going to switch costume because he's just, he's just standing anyway. We're actually going to move him. We're going to point him in the right direction. Now we're going to move him back horizontally because he's, he was moving vertically. And now we're going to put him horizontal, like, you know, horizontal when you lie down, verticals, like you're standing up, that you have to visualize or picture it in your head. So we are now going to do the looks point in direction. No, it's motion. You would think it's looks, but it's not. It's actually the motion block. You see, we have looks and we have motion. Well, we have to look for the blocks. And if you forget, you just go and look at either one of them and point in direction 90. And if I double click the block, there we go. See, I tested it before I put it in there. I'm double clicking it and it moved it to the way I wanted it. Okay, now we've got a, a problem. We have Mr. Elephant to worry about. Because Mr. Elephant is facing the wrong way and he's also, you know, they're too close. Social distancing, Mr. Elephant's gonna move away and Mr. Bear is not gonna be upset or offended because Mr. Bear knows Mr. Elephant cares about him and that's why he's going to social distance. So we're going to go to Mr. Elephant. Well, we call him Mr. Elephant, just Ellie. Right, where are you? There he is, Elephant's there. So I've clicked on it down here to make sure that you can see Mr. Elephant in there, okay? You're going to see Mr. Elephant over there in the top right-hand corner. And we know that Elephant is now selected, we're going to put code for elephant. If I'm going to go to see what the code is for bear, I click on bear. There's our code for bear. Remember I told you before how we need to make sure we've got 
this elephant selected, if we're going to put code in, animal selected, we look at the top of the screen there to see the picture of that animal. So what we're going to do is, okay, there's a message from Sikomalele. Uh, we're going to have to just try again um, after the lesson, okay? Just try it again and ask your parents for some help or uh, um, your big brother or sister or your or relative that who knows something about the computers and the internet and they can help you, okay? Right, now we're going to go to um, Bear. Because Bear is going to, um, basically, he's touching the elephant, not so. Well, elephant is touching the bear. So as soon as that happens, elephant's going to move away. We'll let elephant do the moving this time. And we're going to uh, find a block that says when touching something else or touching another block. Three hands are up. Oops. Whoa, Nami. Thank you, sweetheart, for saying, Avik, saying, thank you for saying three hands are up. Right. Um, I'm going to try and sort that one out. Okay. Tuba. Um, yes, Janonso. Ma'am? Yes? Like, are we supposed to do, do the link right now and go into like the thing that you're doing? No, 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 you don't have to, Bobby. It's, it's your holiday. Um, if you were able to get onto um, Amazora, then that's fine. But otherwise, you can do it in your own time, um, you know, like for homework. <laughs> I think of it as okay. a thing. Okay. Thank you for the question. That's a good question. I'm sure many children have got that question. What must we do? We don't have the program open and we're not working together. I will send the code at the end of the lesson. Yes, Inami, I'm going to let you speak. Inami, yes, got a question, Marie? Must I, must I leave to watch the YouTube video? Um, no, no, you mustn't leave now, sweetheart. Stay. You can watch the YouTube videos later. Because each time you, okay. watch, each time you watch something, you can watch it now, you'll remember it, and then you watch it again, and then it'll... You know, you remember it even more. So yeah, okay. Okay, good question. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right, like I said to Nami guys, um, the more you watch something or do something, the more you know, and that's how you study for exams and so on. Yes, Tuba, do you have a question, Navi? Okay, Tuba doesn't have a question. That's fine. Right, so Nonso, do you want to ask a question again? Your hand is up still. All right, I'm assuming you don't. You did ask the question, so it's fine. All right, so remember, repeat, repeat, repeat. If you read some, if you read a book once, you remember some parts of it. Or a story, or any story you read, you, you remember some bits. When you go and read it again, you remember even more. And when you read it a third time, then you remember everything. So remember that, that you can, that's how you learn. And uh, if you watch a video once and then you watch it again and then you watch it again, then it comes back to you and then you know everything. That's how, that's how you get 100% for your test. Right, so what do we do um, with Mr. Elephant? Yeah, Elephant has to receive, know when he's touching something. He's when the bear touches him, elephant's going to move. So in the control, it's actually in control or sensing. Is a sensing block, and you see uh, a touching, and then you can actually choose an animal. So sensing, touching is sensing. Your senses are your hearing, your touching, smelling, and so on. But in this case, there's no smell or vision here. Yeah? We have touching on the screen. When something, when one object is touching another object, this is what we have. Our hexagon is here, um, a touching hexagon. So we to start off, we go find one of those. Remember, we're an elephant now. Elephant's doing the programming. We've chosen elephant over here. 
And we have to go and see where is this hexagon going to fit. It's a funny shape. It looks like a diamond or a rectangle joined together. Hey. Right, let's go and find a control. When let's allow this. When I receive if we also have a if and we haven't got to if yet. So we're not going to do that. Um, what we're rather going to do, we only use a, this with an if statement. I'm not doing if statements yet. So we're not using any ifs. Mm -mm. Not today. So what we're going to do instead is we are going to um, basically broadcast a message to Elephant um, that he must move. We get to broadcast an invisible message, just like a signal saying, mm -hmm, go that way. So how do we do that? We have to use what we call a broadcast thing. If you want to, if you want to, if you wave at somebody, you're broadcasting something that you're saying hello. Okay, if you say this, yeah, I'm broadcasting, I'm saying it's, it's not verbal, it's just an invisible, not invisible, you can see it. But it's not a, you're not saying the words, you're just, it's a silent sound. It's a silent message, sorry, silent message. So when we broadcast, we're giving a silent message to somebody. And Elephant is going to broadcast the message that he is now um, in, the, in the place where elef Elephant must move. Sorry, Bear is going to broadcast the message. Elephant's going to receive it. It's going to say, oh, I saw that. So Elephant's going to broadcast a message. And we put that block there. Where did we find broadcast? It is here in, it's either in events or control. So we check out control. Nope, it's not in control because the orange and yellow are quite confusing. They, they sort of blend in with each other. So we have similar blocks there, and we click on the yellow, you see that the events is when the green flag is clicked, when the space is clicked, and so on, when the backdrop switches, when the loudness, or well, that's when you come to sound. And then we have broadcast. Okay, so we're broadcasting, and I move that over here. So that bear is now and it broadcast a message. And how does elephant receive it? But what is the message? Well, we say we click, we, we click here in this arrow of that broadcast block, and we can decide to give this a new message. Okay. So I'm gonna click on new message. I'm gonna type here, bear touching elephant. So bear is going to send the message Bear is touching elephant, and then elephant's going to receive a message, and he's going to move a bit, a few steps, and then turn around to greet bear. So how do we get bear, I mean elephant, to do that? Go to elephant here at the bottom. So we broadcast. Bear is going to broadcast an invisible message. You won't see it. In this case of the program, you won't see it on the screen, but it's a little. Thing, a little invisible uh, sign, and then elephant. We go to elephant, and elephant's going to spring into action. So, when he receives the message from bear, elephant's going to spring into action. So, how do we get that to happen? Well, we're going to go to the hat blocks, which is in events, where elephant says uh, starts his code with this hat block that says, when I receive. So Elephant has a block to start him with his program. He's going to have his own little program. And Elephant's going to get into action, wake up. When I receive, it's like you wake up when you hear your alarm. So when I receive, bear touching elephants. Can you see there's a, the message that we put there from bear. So, 
Uh, if he raised his hands, I'm going to go and ask him to unmute. Hey. It always takes a while. Right, uh, if he, I'm trying to click on that ask to unmute. I don't know why it always takes off. There we go. Hello, Ife. Oh, you did you ask a chat question? Okay, must I look in the chat? Right, I'll look in the chat. Oops. Um, okay, it's on the chat. Okay, Ife. Okay, that's fine, Ife. Um, you just carry on listening. Okay, sweetheart. Right, so when I receive, so elephant has a block that says, when I receive. So when elephant receives this token from bear, called bear touching elephant, elephant's going to move. He's pointing in the right direction. Let's see, yeah, he's pointing, but we're gonna make sure he's still pointing in the right direction. So we go to point in direction. There it is, point in direction 90. Elephant's gonna start walking now. And how do we walk? We go to motion and we move certain number of steps. Do you think 10 steps is gonna be okay? We don't know. So if I wanna test it, remember we're an elephant now. We've got elephant's code. To double test, to see if elephant is gonna move, how far he's gonna move with 10 steps, I'm gonna double click on it. And he only moves a little bit, doesn't he? If I double click again, he's going to move only a little bit, and then again, and a little bit. Let's see how far must the spacing be. I think that's fine here. Um, so we can try moving 30. Let's see. 30. I'm going to slot Bear back over here. Bear's going to be so good. He's going to social distance. So we double click Bear. And I think that's fine. Hey, he moves to the next block. Right, so I should maybe make it a little bit more heavy on the safe side for her. Right, so we move elephant there, double click, and he's moved there. Right, so that's fine. Right, there we go. So we're going to slot that in there. That works. Move elephant back in its place. Now, to recap what's happening here, after bear, after bear has reached this point here, He's going to broadcast that he's actually touching the elephant and then the elephant, because both of them care about each other, so elephant is going to um, do something when he receives that this token that bears touching elephant. So elephant's going to move 40 steps and then elephant must turn around. Elephant must turn around. That's very important. How are we going to make elephant turn around to face bear? So it's not, you know, because they want to talk to each other. We don't want them, you know, we can't have bear talking to elephants back because that would be rude. Hey, so bear is going to be kind and turn around. And to make that happen is a whole different story. It's actually not so difficult, but you're going to follow with me. I'm going to revise all of this now very quickly, and then we can go to the point where elephant turns around. Go back to our beginning. <clears throat> when the green flag is clicked, we clicked on bear here to see the code for bear, and bear starts over here. Okay, you know that. This was the original starting point. Click on bear, click on elephant, click on bear. You have to click twice to select these two animals. To select an animal, you have to basically hold the mouse down quite a bit. You've got to hold it for a second. You click on it and hold the mouse, and then you can select two different animals, and they each have different code in them. <coughs> so, when the green flag is clicked, we go to bear, this is bear's code. Okay, how do I know it's bear's code? Because I check and I see there's a bear sitting over there in the top right hand corner. <coughs> so when the, when the green flag is clicked, we go to that X and Y place. Remember I, sh I showed you the X's and Y's and we just type the numbers in these boxes over here. Then we switch costume to 
the B, which is a standing one. And then we make sure we're pointing in the direction. And then you repeat until this bear stands up before he starts walking. That's what I'm assuming. He stands up, and then he goes and walks. Right, point in direction, repeat. And then we have our fancy repeat loop that we learned yesterday. <coughs> we change the cost of move, wait, change the cost of move, wait, change the cost of move, wait until bear gets to this point. <coughs> we make sure we switch to costume A. And then we point in direction naught. <laughs> point in direction naught. And we move 20 steps. <clears throat> but we didn't see that. We didn't see the bear moving upwards, did we? Because it went so fast, it was like a fraction of a second. We could actually <clears throat> put it in slow motion over here. So this is a bit of a revision <clears throat> from yesterday where we're going to go slow. As it stands now, moving 20 steps, I'll show you what it looks like. Well, actually, that wasn't so bad, eh? But we never actually saw it that well. So I'm going to move 10 steps and wait. Move 10 steps and wait. But let's rather break that, that up into two tens and so I'll move this one off. So I've got two tens here. And between each one, oops, let's move this down a bit. Right, between, oops, I want to put a weight. Where is weight? Well, weight is under, I think it's control. We have under control, we have weight. <clears throat> I don't want to do weight until, I just want to wait. No, no, this is events now. Let's go to control. Control, wait, there it is, control, wait. So many seconds, and I'll get another one. And we put those two in. Move 10 steps, wait one second. Well, we don't want it in one second, that's gonna to be too slow. 0 0.5 and 0.5, actually 0.2 would be faster. If I make it all 0.5, Instead of 0.5, 0.2 for all the waiting, then we'll have a much faster program. It's only going to wait 0.2 seconds. So I've changed all the weights to 0.2, and now we can run the program and see what happens. We get to the point where, see how far we've got here? Let's press run. In other words, the green flag. Oh, come on. Okay, now I've got to go and Press the, oops, didn't quite get there, did he? He didn't quite get there. I wasn't happy with that, so let's go and fix it. Okay, there. Oh. He hasn't moved up enough, so we need to move there even further. So we need to duplicate these blocks. Okay, I know it's all working while I'm clicking on it, but we don't worry about that. We'll just stop all. Um, well, where's my stop button? Okay, I have to find my stop button on the screen here, and I can't see it because there's other windows in the way here. So yeah, I'll just click that thing. Right, let's do it again. It's getting close. We have to move 40, not 10. So let's move 10, wait, move 10, wait, move 10, wait. And then we need one more. I'm duplicating it so I don't have to go. So what I did was I duplicated it. I know he's busy doing it while I'm moving the blocks, but I'm just going to run the stop all. There it is. As you can see, he's run off the stage because I didn't press a key to stop him. Oh, my word. Doesn't matter. I just, what I did was, because I couldn't find my stop button up there. You probably can see it, but I've got something in the way. 
All I did was double click the stop button and then it stopped the program. Stop button, stop block, stop block. Right, let's go run the program again. And remember, we set it all up. I know bears off the screen here, but remember, we did all our setting up here. We made sure that Bear went to the start block, he switched costumes, and he pointed in the right direction. So when I click that whole code, he goes back to that start. And of course, um, unfortunately, Elephant is not in the right place, is he? Mr. Elephant is not in, our right, in his right block. So let's put him back there. Now let's go and click the play button. Right, so Elephant did move, but he didn't move quite far enough, did he? And Bear didn't go quite high enough. So we can even change this one block over here to 15. So we go a little bit higher. Elephant doesn't distance enough at all. Because when Bear broadcast a message, when he stopped walking, he broadcast Bear touching Elephant. But Elephant did not social distance far enough, as we can see. So we're going to go to Elephant and we'll see, okay, we made Elephant only move 40 steps. So let's put them back. But I think we have to make Elephant move a few more steps than 40. So let's make it 60 and see what happens. If I do this, if I run the code, oh, no, that's too far. Yeah, let's make it 50. Elephant's over there. Yeah, well, this is how you test your program, make sure it's working properly because you want everything to be perfect. Because programmers are perfectionists. We want everything to be perfect all the time. So you click the green flag, press the button, there it goes. Okay, elephant has moved and not far enough at all. I wonder why. Let's look at elephant's code. When he receives bear touching elephant, he points in that direction and he moves 50 steps. Well, I guess we're going to have to make it a bit more, hey? So we go to elephant again. I mean, bear, bear. And we click the green flag. And of course, we do have a situation where elephant is now in a different place. So I'm going to have to change that back. All right, move them all back. That was a bad testing. Right, now we go to Bear, because Bear is starting everything. So we click on our Run button, press the green arrow. Yay, nice social distance. Yay. Now all we have to do is get him to turn around, and that is the cool, cool thing that we're going to do now. We're going to get Elephant to face the other way. We know that, I'm not Elephant, yeah, Elephant. Let's go to Elephant. And... Okay, raise hands quickly, let's see. Uh, okay, Ipe. Ipe, I'm trying, oh, Ipe, yes, sweetheart. Ipe, your hand was raised. Do you have a question, Lavi? Okay, if it doesn't have a question, okay. Um, let's see, uh, other person who had a question is Neil. Okay, Neil, I'm trying to get you to unmute. I'm trying to ask to unmute for Neil. Okay, I can't. Some reason I can't click on it. Oh, sorry, Neil. You can just type the question, okay? Let's get moving um, on to the, the the last thing that we want to do before today is finished. We want to make elephant turn around and face other way. And you must look nice. It doesn't look messy. So we're on elephant. We know elephant is selected over here, 
And we want to have a costume where elephant faces the other way now. And why did you put your hand up there? Wait, now stop doing things here, man. Are you okay, Neil? Are you okay, Neil? Why yeah. did you put your hand up there? Yeah, he put his hand up, so... Yes, ma'am. Hello, sweetheart. It's nice to hear your voice, lovey. What's the question? No, no, I was just stuck, but I found what I wanted to Oh, okay. What you wanted. Okay, thank you, Neil. It was nice to hear your voice, be safe, Avi. Right, now, um, we get to go and go, we click on the elephant, then we go to costumes. Because you know it's code, we're in the code mode for the elephant. Now we're going to go to costume mode for the elephant. So we click on the costumes tab over there, and then we see these are the two costumes. Now, what I want to do is I want to have a copy of this costume, but I want the person, to, the elephant to be facing the other way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this one and then I'm going to flip it. So first of all, you go to your costumes here, choose the one you want to flip, and I'm going to right click on it and click on duplicate. So there's duplicate. So I've got two elephants that, you know, this look the same. The one I'm going to flip. Can you see that there's a flip horizontal and flip vertical button over here in this middle page section? So if I click on flip horizontal, yay, we got it. Nice, facing the right way. And that's what we want. Okay, so that elephant can now be facing um, the bear. Now, how are we going to get that in code? Well, we can see what the costume looks, what the costume name is. It says elephant A2. And basically, the costume name is Elephant A2. You can remember that. And we go to our code and we say switch to costume, which is in looks, the purple looks, switch costume to Elephant A2. Then we are now we are ready for the elephant to talk. Now, of course. We want elephant to start off with costume, the right costume, don't we? We also want to make sure that he is in the right place. How do we make sure that elephant starts off with the right costume and pointing in the right way, like he was before? Okay, we don't want him like that. We want to make sure that. Uh, where's my elephant? Elephant. We want to make sure he's there and we want to make sure he's facing that way. Well, you know, you can reposition it before we run the program or we can be very clever and we can go and put elephant in the right place, in the right order, facing the right way when we run the program. So elephant can also, yes, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, Chevelle, eight minutes left. Elephant can also use a, but, a, box, uh, a hat block. In the events tab, when the green arrow is clicked, we're going to change elephant's appearance. Well, basically, we're going to make sure it goes to the right place. Um, looks uh, motion. Go to. We're going to make sure he's going to this place where he is now. And by the way, when I just slot this in here, I'll make sure elephant is in the right place. And I put that in the coordinates X and Y values. Those numbers are correct automatically as long as elephant is in the right place it's actually not correct eh? it's, it's one and it's three we have to type it in three and minus 92 no, they're not automatically correct minus 92 we have to type them in <coughs> oh, sorry that was bad i must have sneezed right now yes i can sneeze fine i'm alone here and by the way, when you sneeze, you're supposed to use your elbow and when you cough, okay, when you're in the room with other people. Even if you've got a mask on, you do this. <clears throat> Let me know. We all say. But um, elephant is there. We also want to make sure that he's got the right costume on. So we're going to say switch costume. Where's looks? Switch costume to elephant A. 
So we've got two blocks here, things that are going to happen. I haven't put any stop button blocks in there um, because I don't want to switch. Well, I can, I must put an end. Let's put an end in there. I'll show you what we're going to do. In the control section, stop block can include stop this script. So we stop this script. And when you go to the this block, we can put a stop block over here where it says, and we choose stop this script. Choose, go to choose stop the script. If you choose stop all, then every all the animals are going to stand still. So stop the script. And now we can go run the button. Oh, I've got to, ooh, 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 ooh. I didn't stop my bear. I didn't stop my bear. Stop, bear, stop. Uh -oh. Stop all. Right, so there was the stop button. So we need, okay, I'm going to click the run button. There we go. And then click the keyboard and then bear, yeah. Then he's ready to talk. See? Right, I think that, yeah, so bear is now ready to talk. To elephant, bears in elephant's box, elephant social distance, they both care about each other. Because bear told elephant, Yara, come in the social distance now. And so that's what elephant did. And then he turned around, and then elephant's going to talk to him. And they're going to say, Hello, how are you? And then they're going to ask, a bear's going to ask elephant what his name is. And that's what I want to do tomorrow. It was quite a lot that we did today, and it was fun switching elephant around here. And we can see that they're now going to talk to each other. Right, any questions, people? I hope that you enjoyed the lesson. Oh, I can save this program and share it with you. That's what I'm going to do now. So say file save to your computer remember that you're going to have two sprites here we've got bear and we've got we've got bear and we've got elephant and i'm going to make sure that elephant is in the right costume to start off with but we did that in code too we did it with our code we made sure that elephant was in the right costume and so on and bear is let's see there's his code so as you can see both of them are going to start um, doing things when the green flag is clicked because we've got a green flag click for elephant and a green flag click for bear so they're both going to start doing things at the same time except elephant's just going to stand there and change his costume what we're going to do is now save this file, load, save to your computer. I'm going to save it and I'm going to share it with you on the chat. So what happens when you say file, save to your computer, it goes to the downloads folder. So I'm going to go to the arrow that points up there and click on show in folder. Then, Airwalks lesson four. As I called it Bear Walks Lesson 4, because that's where we are. And I'm going to copy that now into, all right, not copy it, I'm going to um, share it in the chat. So let's go to the chat. So I'm going to, let's hope I can share a file. Yes, I can. Oops. Why can't I share a file anymore? Oh, my word. Not gonna let me. Oh, everyone in meeting. There we go. Sorry. I nearly, I nearly didn't get that right. Are you able to see my screen? I don't know what you can see. It's a bit of a scary thing for me, of course. I'm hoping that you can see. Okay. Uh, oh wait, I must go to doc. I must go to downloads. Eh? All right, downloads. Bear walks lesson four open. There it is. This is going. Thank you, absolute source, to saying that I can, everyone can see lesson four SB three. 
is sent in the chat. I'm hoping that you're able to download it. Um, when you get onto msora.co.za, you log in, you can start. Remember to watch the videos one, two, and three. Um, and remember that the more you um, watch, the more you learn, and you repeat something, you learn it. When you repeat reading a book over and over again, you learn. And that is the magic of studying, is revising and learning again, and again, and again. You don't have to, Naomi, but you want to for fun, because it's quite fun to make something happen. And you can create your own program as well and send them to me. I sent, um, I showed you uh, Williams a program today. I don't know whether he's in the room now, uh, whether he was there when I shared it. Yeah, yeah. Hello, William. Thank you for your program. I showed everybody at the beginning of the lesson, and it's very good, and it's a nice advertisement. Yes. Well done. And uh, yeah, anyone else has any programs that they want to share? Please send it to the email address. And the email address is um, there it is. Oops, there it is. I don't know. Can you see that email address? Oops, can you see that email address on the screen, everyone? Have a nice day, Lavi. Well, if you don't have to send it, I did receive your email. I received the program and I showed it at the beginning of the lesson. I hope you're here. Bye bye, absolute source. Bye bye, Chevelle. Bye, Yolisa. Bye, everyone. Have a happy day. Uh, Afua, yes, let me see. Uh, you want to say something? Okay, Afua, I'll unmute you. I hope it works. I don't know why I can't. Trying to unmute you before. Oh, that's Africa. Miss. Yes. Miss Queen, please. When will you be free? Like, when will you be using the, your email? Now. Now. It's on. It's on now. You just send me an email. Uh, okay. So I send you my email. You send me a message and then I'll have your, your email address. Uh, Once you've sent me a message. Ask your uh, parents to help you with that. Okay, so Jing, is that Shijing? Yes, Shijing, I'm going to try and ask you ask to unmute. I'm trying to do the ask to unmute button, but for some reason it doesn't seem to want to work. Nawazi, are oh, you still there? Nawazi, do you have any questions? Oh, yes, you can me, you know me. Have a nice day. Um, where is the stage? Oh, I can put the stage on here. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lovie. Yes. Okay, I will go and put the stage up here again quickly. Ma'am, so that email just that you sent us, can we get the stuff? You can, yeah, I can send it to you from email as well, yes. If you send me your address, just send me a quick message saying hello, this is me, and then I will send you all the stuff. That's a good one. That's a good plan. A good way to do it. Because you might not be able to get it from the chat. So, good ideas. You know, oops, thank word. Okay. I presume everyone can see the email address. Hello, Yolisa. I'm so glad you're with Inami. Nice to work together with somebody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Shay. She's gone. Bye-bye, oh. Shay. Okay, so I think we're at the end. We're supposed to go now. I know you're, oh, Afua. I'm going to try and get you to talk, Lovey. I'm trying to. I don't know why. Thank you for Ah, there. No, where is he? I'm taking the mic. I'm listening to the Ah, oh, yes, I can see you now. May you send your email in the chat? 
so that I can oh. copy it. Oh, good idea. Good idea. Yes, that's a good It'll idea. It'll be easier than copying it from my screenshots. Right, right, right. Very good. Guys, it's got so many good ideas. Can I help us adults? We sometimes forget these things. Okay, I'm Quinn at africateamgeeks.co.za. There it is. The stage is called Grid and Blank Grid. I've sent them there on the chat. Yes, you can leave your Lisa. Have a nice day. Be safe. Thank you, Chevelle. You too. You're the best. We're all the best. I must, eat, must go and have tea now. Tea time. Bye. 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 Bye, Kabane. See you tomorrow. Bye, Sajing. Bye, Selena. Bye, Lisa. Bye, Chevelle. Bye, William and James. Bye, Africa. Bye, Pua. If you've got if you have a question, yes, I'm going to speak to you, Pua. Bye, Janonzo. I could. You want to say something, Lily? I'm trying to ask unmute. I'm trying to do it. You got your hands up. Yep, there. and done. Yes, Afua. Bye. Bye. So about the email, I'll send it because I'm copy. I've copied. Okay. Good. I will read all my emails. Can't wait to get emails from all you guys. Be fun. No, Wazi, you could you oh, I don't know Wazi, are you okay, Lavi? Neil. That email that you sent us, should we get all the stuff we need there? The email address, you said. Are you talking about oh the, what what do you what did I send you? I sent okay. you the program and I sent you I sent you the the grids. The grid for your Baba Neil. So I sent you the program, and I sent you the two grids for your Scratch program. The Hi, ma'am. But the email I think she's confused, ma'am. She sees your email address. Yeah. Yes, I think her address is ma'am's email address, yeah. and she hasn't sent you anything. So I don't know. I think she's confused. So she didn't want to even listen to what I was Okay. So she wanted to understand you her work or okay. Um well I, she... I couldn't hear properly, um, but because your your the sound went a bit weird there while you were talking, but basically she if you, I've got the email address I sent on the chat and I, you saw the email address on the screen, you use that email address to set to write me a letter. I mean on email. You have to ask oh. me. Yeah. Email address is for you to send me in anything that you want. Obviously, work related, but you can tell me who you are and, and what school you go if you want. And then, you, and then I can send you the program that we did, and I can send. Because only I can only do it once I've got your email address sent. To me. Okay, to ask some. Oh. oh. So the email address is for you to use to send me stuff. She was confused once she has you have her once i have your yes interest, yes ma'am yes no it's fine I, I at least she has you. heard you herself now because she couldn't understand when i was explaining to her oh, okay 
uh, so once, um, so somebody must send me an email and then I will have yes, the address, yes. but I don't have the email address until somebody gives me their email, yes. uh, sends me stuff. So if you send it to that email address, then I will give your email address and I can share yes. stuff with you. Then I can send you the, yes. the files. Hello, Super Malele. Thank you, ma'am. It's a pleasure, Nawazi. Thank you. Hello, Neil. Okay. That's a pretty, Bye, man. pretty room, sweetheart. So we're going to have to have a um, cool ring now or tea. So no other questions. Are you okay, Sipolele? Sipolele, are you okay? You don't have any questions, Ravi? Okay, good, good. You must go to the YouTube channel and watch all the videos and then you can learn by going to, it's, it's, you'll see it's grade four, um, bear walk lesson one, grade four bear walk lesson two, grade four bear walk lesson three, and then today's is grade four bear walk lesson four. Yep, all of them. Good girl. Okay, so now you go and do that. Okay. Okay, bye bye, sweetheart. Be safe. Bye bye, Neil. Are you okay, lovey? Is your name Neil? Okay. Good boy. You stay safe and go and watch the, the YouTube videos. Okay. All right, I'm going to sign off now. Tunonso, Africa, Yulisa, Sipomalele, Neil. We'll see you tomorrow, okay? Be safe, look after yourself, and have fun. And I'm going to close my window now. So, bye-bye.